Favourite Smith song? Probably Cemetery Gates. Um, I don't know, for many reasons, seems like a... Um, either way, it makes something very normal seem uh, you know, quite romantic. Um, Handsome Devil. I think that's... Uh, I, did, I, actually, I actually did a cover of that with the band I was in for, uh, for, for a compilation once upon a time. But yeah, um, I think Handsome Devil or How Soon Is Now, I think, are my two favourite Smith tracks. Uh, Rubber Ring is my favourite Smith song. I, I got asked this the other day, that's why I know it so quickly. Um, it, it was a B-side, it was, well it wasn't a B-side, it, it came with The World Won't Listen, it was like a compilation. And it's my, I don't know why it's my favourite song, it's quite haunting, you need to listen to it about five times until you understand what it's about. He says about, he covers about five different topics in one sentence um, throughout the song, so yeah, he's Rubber Ring. Probably there was a lie that never goes out because um, I don't know. It, it was the first Smith song I heard really, and um, it was like a big deal for us because well, I, I remember me and Hayden getting into the Smiths back in the day, and and it was a real point where we just think, oh wow, this is actual music that kind of speaks to us because before that we had shit really, and um, it was nice to dig the, dig the Smiths out and hear that. Just probably how soon is now just because of the noise. Is that a cat? Ah, oh, now I don't even I don't really like that sound. <laughs> I like it's a weird, my my one is a weird one because it's not I don't think it's any by any means their best song, but I like Girlfriend in a Coma. Just because I think the like lyrically I just like it's just like it's, it's like clever and funny and yeah yeah. I I think mine is uh, Barbara's and Pickens at home because of the bass line. I know uh, that was that's the one that killers in it. For, yeah yeah, uh, Jenny was a friend yeah, of mine. Yeah, Jenny was a friend of mine. I like you just stopping it, but yet, baby. That's a good one. I think that's smooth my favourite. My speech again, I love that song. I know it seems like the real obvious, obvious yeah. answer. Or this charming man, I think. Yeah. That, that is, love. They're, they're, they're the most popular Smith song for a reason, I think, and they, it's because they are just amazing songs. I feel like people get real wanky and try and pick the most obscure one they can. It yeah. seem real cool, but <laughs> we're not that cool. <laughs> It goes, we play this game in the band where we, we pass the Smiths around, don't we? Yeah. Put a different one on. Like, um, I quite like Headmaster Ritual at the moment. Um, I don't know why, it's just a particularly nice guitar riff, I guess. Oh, Johnny Marr. Vine's uh, Cemetery Gate of The Queen Is Dead. I just think it has, not just amongst the Smiths, but ever, like, some of the best lyrics ever written in it. And I think that's it's really, really amazing. That's it. Because <laughs> I think it's a really funny lyric. <laughs> I think it for me it's got to be um, I Know It's Over. Oh, I mean that whole album is like pretty pretty flawless. Apart from maybe frankly Mr Shankly. I think if I was going to jump any track on that album, but even that is... It's a tough one. How Soon Is Now maybe is one of mine. Uh, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, it's way too many to choose from. We just had a very nice dance, didn't we, last night. We had a, a big party and the biggest dance of the night was you, you just haven't earned it yet, baby. That, that got most shaken on the dance floor. So well, the rest very, was Bon Jovi, though, baby, so, you know. And a very big Smith song. Please, 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 let me get what I want. It's got the best last minute of any song in history. It's uh, one of the greatest, greatest songs ever written. But, yeah, that's it.